is that if I keep my weight equal, now I'm not loading the horse. So if I'm getting here, I'm loading the horse on the outside foreleg that I want to move and then putting pressure on the left side, blocking the left front. If I keep my weight in the middle, now I'm not going to overload one corner. Okay. Okay. And if I think of the inside edge, the front inside edge of this seat bone coming across to my opposite hand. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give me your arm for a second. Okay. Oh, we need to turn your horse's head so that we can see this. Okay. So here I am with the widest part of my sit bone on your arm. And if I come here, what have I just told you to do? Go to my left. Correct. Okay. If I go here, what have I told you to do? I can't do anything. That's right. Okay, so the minute you take your weight and you drop it out and then this seat bone's hooking and it's actually pulling your rib cage outward mm -hmm. and putting the weight over here and now you want the front end to move. Yeah, and it can't. That's right. So I've got to have my weight in the middle mm -hmm. and then I think of, can you feel it? I'm using the front edge of that seat bone mm -hmm. and I'm just thinking of bringing that front edge around. Okay. Okay, my weight stays in the middle. Okay. No open doors. Okay. Okay. And the reason I say that is you're not really opening the door. Okay. You're putting your leg out there and bracing your leg, but that's not really creating a space for the horse because of the stiffness that it causes. Okay. okay?